Oh, it is on! It is on till that break of dawn. But wait, it's only the break at 10.30. What happened? I gotta get one of those blue French horns for over my fireplace. It's gotta be blue, it's gotta be French. No green clarinet? Nope. Come on, no purple tuba? It's a Smurf penis or no dice. <laughs> there you are! We got a jumper, some crazy guy on the Manhattan Bridge. Come on, you're covering it. Um, all right, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. I had a really great time tonight. Ew. So? Did you kiss her? No, the moment wasn't right. Look, this woman could actually be my future wife. I want our first kiss to be amazing. Aw, oh, Ted, that is so sweet. So you chickened out like a little bitch. <laughs> I did not chicken out. You know what? I don't need to take first kiss advice from some pirate who hasn't been single since the first week of college. Ted, anyone who's single would tell you the same thing, even the dumbest single person alive. And if you don't believe me, call him. Hey, loser. How's not playing laser tag? Because playing laser tag is awesome! Oh, I killed you, Connor. Don't make me get your mom. Hey, listen, I need your opinion on something. OK, meet me at the bar in 15 minutes. And suit up! <laughs> So these guys think I chickened out. What do you think? I can't believe you're still not wearing a suit. <laughs> she didn't even give me the signal. What, is she gonna, is she gonna bat her eyes at you in Morse code? Ted, <laughs> kiss me. No, you just kiss her. Not if you don't get the signal. <laughs> Did Marshall give me the signal? No, I didn't, I swear. <laughs> But see, at least tonight, I get to sleep knowing Marshall and me, never gonna happen. You should have kissed her. Oh, I should have kissed her. Well, maybe in a week when she gets back from Orlando. A week? That's like a year in hot girl time. She'll forget all about you. Mark my words, you will never see that one again. There she is. Ooh, she's cute. Hey, Carl, turn it up. I persuaded him to reconsider, at which point the man came down off the ledge, giving this bizarre story a happy ending. Reporting huh. from Metro One News. Yeah, I didn't jump. I'm gonna go kiss her. Mm -hmm. Right now. Look, dude, it's midnight. As your future lawyer, I'm gonna advise you that's freaking crazy. <laughs> I never do anything crazy. I'm always waiting for the moment, planning the moment. Well, she's leaving tomorrow. This may be the only moment I'm gonna get. I gotta do what that guy couldn't. I gotta take the leap. <laughs> okay, not a perfect metaphor, because for me, it's fall in love and get married, and for him, it's death. <laughs> Actually, that is a perfect metaphor. <laughs> By the way, did I congratulate you two? I'm doing this. Let's go. Word up. We're coming with you. Barney? All right, but under one condition. <laughs> Look at you, you beautiful bastard. You suited up. This is totally going in my blog. Stop the car. Put, uh, pull over right here. I gotta do something. Excuse me, pardon me, just say, enjoy your coffee. Hey, hey! Go, go, go! Everybody brings flowers. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Wish me luck. Ted's gonna get it on with a TV reporter. <laughs> this just in. Okay. <laughs> Kiss her, Ted. Kiss her good. Kiss the crap out of that girl. Marshall, remember this night. When you're the best man at our wedding, and you give a speech, you're gonna tell this story. Why does he get to be the best man? I'm your best friend! As I walked up to that door, a million thoughts raced through my mind. Unfortunately, one particular thought did not. I've got five dogs. <laughs> not good, not good. You're wearing a suit! <laughs> Ted? Hi! <laughs> I was just, uh... Come on up. He's in. So, Ranjit, you must have done it with a Lebanese girl. You okay? That's my Barney limit. I'm gonna see if that bodega has a bathroom. Actually, 
I'm from Bangladesh. Ooh, the women hot there? Here's a picture of my wife. A simple no would have sufficed. <laughs> She's lovely. I gotta get one of those blue French horns for over my fireplace. It's gotta be blue, it's gotta be French. There you are! We got a jumper! Some crazy guy on the Manhattan Bridge. Come on, you're covering it! You know what? I don't need to take first kiss advice from some pirate who hasn't been single since the first week of college. She didn't even give me the signal. What, is she gonna, is she gonna bat her eyes at you in Morse code? Did Marshall give me the signal? No, I didn't, I swear. I persuaded him to reconsider. I persuaded him to reconsider. At which point the man came down off the ledge, giving this bizarre story a happy ending. As your future lawyer, I'm going to advise you that's freaking crazy. I got to do what that guy couldn't. I got to take the leap. <laughs> okay, not a perfect metaphor, because for me it's fall in love and get married, and for him it's death. I gotta do what that guy couldn't. I gotta take the leap. <laughs> okay, not a perfect metaphor, because for me it's fall in love and get married, and for him it's death. We're coming with you. Barney? All right, but under one condition. When you're the best man at our wedding, and you give a speech, you're gonna tell this story. As I walked up to that door, a million thoughts raced through my mind. Unfortunately, one particular thought did not. As I walked up to that door, a million thoughts raced through my mind. Unfortunately, one particular thought did not. Okay, that's my Barney limit. I'm gonna see if that bodega has a bathroom. A simple no would have sufficed. <laughs> it is on to the break of dawn. <laughs> it's a Smurf penis or no dice. <laughs> So you chickened out like a little bitch. What, is she gonna, is she gonna bat her eyes at you in Morse code, Ted? She'll forget all about you. Mark my words, you will never see that one again. Ooh, she's cute. Hey, Carl, turn it up. Stop the car. Put, uh, pull over right here. Why does he get to be the best man? I'm your best friend! <laughs>